Greetings. This is Great One himself, Cynical Libertarian Society, C Y N L I B S O C dot com on the internet, dropping some CLSology on your ass. This year, my friends, is an anarchy moment. You know how I've come on a couple of anarchy moments and said, this might be the shortest anarchy moment ever. Okay, this, this is, this is the shortest one. Here's the deal. I have a friend. She is a girl. And she works at Colorado State University in a job that she hates. And it has nothing to do with what she went to college for. Imagine that. In the previous anarchy moment, I talked about that. Now, I know that she's making a significant amount of money because during her interview process, the people interviewing her took her to a place here in the People's Republic of Fort Collins called Jay's Bistro. Jay's Bistro is a very expensive restaurant, and it's where people, right, when you're interviewing at CSU to be a janitor, or I worked at CSU for eight years. When we interviewed people, the only people we took to Jay's Bistro were the very upper management people, the people in the $100,000 a year and more range. Now, she's not making that much money, but I can tell you, they took her to Jay's Bistro. She's got to be making at least 40000 a year, very, very minimum, and probably more than that. But apparently she doesn't have any money because she has a bunch of debt, college debt, credit card debt. I don't know. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Point is, she has a job. She hates it. She wants to find something else to do, right, as in starting your own business. Of course, how many times have I talked about, how many times has Aaron Cleary talked about fucking get a job and then go start your own business so that you can get independence? So, you know, she whines about her job. She's been whining about her job. She's had various jobs over the years I've known her. She's hated all of them. She's made zero fucking effort to start her own fucking business. Zero. Zero fucking effort. So today she's talking about she wants to be a financial planner. It's a person who has no money. She has a job that she hates. She can't afford to quit the job. She wants to be a financial planner. And she wants to target women. She wants to provide financial planning to women. Okay. Here is the meat of this anarchy moment. That was all the setup. That was just the setup. Here's the meat. <laughs> the meat. She said, during the conversations, she said, she said this with a straight face. She was serious. That was me taking a drag on me on my electronic cigarette, which has now been banned in the People's Republic of Fort Collins. Electronic cigarettes are now illegal in Fort Collins in public places. She said, with a straight face, she said, this is a quote, Studies have shown that women are better at financial planning than men. Unquote. I would now like to officially respond to that statement. Oh, yeah, you women are so good at financial planning. 
That's why you're all on fucking welfare and WIC and Medicare and Medicaid and Social Security and you have no fucking money except the money you get from your fucking husband in the form of alimony and the money you get from men who fucking are heterosexual and have white skin and work for a living through fucking government redistribution. Shut the fuck up. Shut the f- Women, all just shut the fuck up. Get your bitch ass in the kitchen and make me a motherfucking pie.